to our Micro Moments slash Compound Stock Earnings podcast. We appreciate you being here today, 10 o'clock Central Time. And uh, Micah is here, and uh, Randy's here, and I'm here. And uh, Tim will not be with us, be able to be with us today, but he'll be back next Thursday. Um, we just finished our Micro Moments session for the day. And I think we're up, uh, let me look at here, Micro Moment. We, we did about... Uh, uh, fourteen point two eight percent today. Of course, those, all those are you know trades that are all done, gone. They're only like a few seconds each. And for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we're up sixty five point five percent on those uh, micro moment trades. You need to go to our website, website micromomenttrading.com. You can sign up for our free cow report. It comes out every Friday. It's got all the emails and comments uh, from our clients around the world and the responses. Uh, from these gentlemen to those. So you can really find out what people are doing. Also on the website, you can, uh, you know, review all the things we offer and, and what times. We have a uh, a uh, covered call leaps two-day seminar coming up. We had one several months ago. We have another one coming up July the 18th and 19th. That's Saturday and Sunday from 9 to about 4, 3.30 or 4 in the afternoon, 9 a.m. Central Time to 3 or 4 Central Time. Um, and that's, again, be July. Uh, it's a big seminar. We've been doing it for a long, long time. We did it a couple of months ago. And we had, well, we had hundreds of people there. So it's a really, really popular seminar. Learn all about traditional covered calls. And uh, last time, and we're going to do it again this time, uh, our Micro Moment guys, uh, Tim and Mike, are going to join in for the two days. Maybe not be there every minute of the two days, but they're going to be adding their two cents in there along with Randy. So it makes a lot more sightings. I, I've in the past just done it by myself, and it's kind of boring. And uh, but at least uh, it's a lot more interesting with these gentlemen. You can, if you want to type something in, you can do that. Uh, your little type, whatever you type that in with, and uh, we'll read the questions and comment and so on and so forth. Also, be, the questions will be seen on this screen. So let's start with Randy. So Randy, how's your week gone this Thursday? Week's almost over. Oh, good week. Good week up, up here in North Carolina visiting my daughter and her husband and granddaughters at a birthday party for uh, Monday night. And it rained for three solid days here, but now it's clear enough, so it's going to be be great weather. This, this market's been a wild one again uh, this week, uh, up, down, all around. Uh, we just had a, a big increase there for a few minutes, and now it's starting to pull back a bit. But uh, it uh, a good week, good good week. We, um, uh, well, for, for today, I'll talk about the, the trades that Micah teaches, the uh, micro moment trading. And, and e even though uh, I don't teach the micro moment trading, I teach the advanced charting momentum trading as well as the covered call platinum trading. But I still participate in all the different types of trading that, that we teach. And one of those is micro moment. So I, I did three trades this morning and, uh, and just missed the one at the opening that would have been a great one tim tim would have been in in that one because it, it was one of tim's crosses there but um so of the three trades that i did uh, this morning up 5.9 percent return altogether on those those three and and michael will be proud of me because one of them was only 13 seconds and one of them was only nine seconds <laughs> and in, in, in yeah. fact both of those i actually got more profit than what I put the order in for because it was such strong momentum going that the market passed basically passed my order by and I got got more profit than than I had requested, which is always a fun. I never give that back. Yeah. I, I will accept the extra money without without complaining at all. But yeah. the, those were the two uh, quick trades. The other one was four minutes long, so that was a, a slower one. But um, <laughs> but the, this market is so wild that. Uh, I'm, I'm really trying to wait for a, a really, really good setup because it's changing so quickly uh, this week from, from one moment to the next. It could be looking like it's trending really nicely in one direction and in the blink of an eye, it quickly changes into the other direction. So you got to be on your toes. So um, I don't know how many more of those I'll do today. I'm, I don't know if I want to press my luck too much, but it's uh, those are going well. And then in the covered call platinum service, and that's where I teach uh, every Wednesday morning. We had a great session yesterday morning, every Wednesday morning for about two hours, sometimes a little longer, mostly a little longer because I, I like to teach. 
Well, we have a live in the market coaching webinar that uh, lots of people are participating there live, but you also uh, can get the archive. So it's being recorded while while being presented live, and then uh, everyone can watch it uh, later on. If you were there, you can watch it again to just go through the training. If you weren't there, then you can watch it to go through the training. And and people send their questions in ahead of time, so I answer those during the webinar as well. And then tonight, I have another covered call coaching uh, webinar, and there'll be lots more people there with a lot more questions as well. So on the Thursday night, Joe, that's the one that really supports the two-day covered call teaching that, that you give. Uh, and I think you mentioned there's one coming up in July. July, and, uh, yeah, July 18th and 19th. Yeah. And so I, I do weekly coaching for all of those techniques on Thursday evening uh, live. It's, of course, it's not in the market because the market's closed, but it's live and those are recorded as well. And then you can watch them later on uh, as well. So in the cover call Platinum uh, service, uh, last week, the, the positions that were opened and closed, uh, and and these are positions that, as Joe talks about, are, are uh, leveraged because instead of buying the stock, the typical traditional covered call is buy the stock, sell a call against it. And it's an in the money call, which means that the stock can go up, down, sideways, it doesn't matter. You'll get called out, and that's the goal, to be called out and get all your capital back and lock in the fantastic return. On, on Wednesdays, the platinum service, I teach that instead of buying the stock, we buy an option that replaces the stock and sell a call against it. And that leverages your capital without buy, you know, borrowing any money, but you don't have to use very much money uh, to trade. So we have uh, TLT. That one closed out for 4.1% return. That was eight days. And eight days is a pretty long time for me to be in these positions. But that's all the capital back out of the position plus a 4.1% return over eight days. Had uh, Microsoft, 6.3% return for five days, in on Monday, out on Friday. Uh, these uh, positions are all two and a half dollars or less per share invested. Even though the stocks cost 180 or 160 or even uh, 300, Apple was a 5.9% return for two days. But I only had Two dollars and forty or two dollars and thirty-five cents a share invested in that position. The QQQ, which is the ETF for the Nasdaq 100, that was six point seven percent return for four days. And then uh, Stitch Fix, I think, is what it is. SFIX, that was nineteen percent return for five days, and that was only forty-two cents per share invested. So. Um, you don't have to have a, a, a million dollars. It, it, it doesn't take a whole lot of money to uh, implement these positions and, and follow along. So uh, everybody that's in the service, they get to see exactly what I'm doing at the time that I'm doing it. And then they can follow along in their virtual trading account as they're learning the process. And so just like Micah is teaching people so that they can learn how to do it, that's the same thing that I do with these uh, techniques on Wednesdays is teach you how to do it. But instead of just teaching and saying, this is what you could have done a year ago, or look at how great this chart was three months ago, I teach it using actual positions that I'm implementing in my own account. So that at, you can at that along. moment, at, at, that at moment. the moment, exactly. Yeah. I, I send the word out. Yeah, that, that's what's so, so cr you know, crazy great about uh, your service and, and the micro moment, uh, Tim and Micah, is that, when they subscribe to these services, they're sitting there watching you do this, and you're and you're, you're prepping you. So I'm getting ready to do this. I'm getting ready to enter QQQ. I'm getting ready to. I'm going to pay this amount, and then you do it. And you say, "I've just executed that." And then you turn around and say, "Maybe five minutes later, maybe five days later, I'm getting out of it." So they know and they learn from knowing. I mean, it's not like they're following you every word. What they're doing is they we've been doing this over twenty years, and they learn it stuff. And we still have clients come back. You know. Within 15, 18 years ago, but uh, and with Mike and Tim, they're doing the same thing, and they and they've got that advanced proprietary charting which you use also, and they can see why you're doing what you're doing. You know, in other words, they they know. There was an article today, I read it on Micro Moment uh, about uh, uh, Robin Robin Hood likes to deal with a lot of really young people, mm -hmm. and uh, this was in. Uh, 
uh, I think it was in uh, uh, Forbes, this guy named uh, Alexander Kearns, 20 years old, 20 years old, no investment experience and got caught up in all this stuff and all this wild, crazy stuff and started knowing what he thought he knew what he was doing. And he, he was doing some kind of option spread and they nev never traded options in his life. And uh, he said his final note was before he died, filled with anger toward Robin Hood, says that he had no clue what he was doing. And, and I made the point, well, that's why, you know, we're doing those micro moment trades. Those are options. That's just the options. And, and yours is too, to, to a large extent with the leaps and stuff. And, uh, but he did, he did this spread option and it's supposed to last two days. And uh, the first day it ended up showing he, he had lost 730,000. Now, he didn't have any money, okay? Mm -hmm. He had a $10,000 account. But he didn't understand the next day all that just cleared out with the, with the other side of the transactions. But he killed himself after he saw that and the committed suicide. But it's just wild. So education is so important, and particularly the way we do it, where, where you guys, Mike and Tim and yourself, these are real trades that you're doing in your own accounts. And the people can't help it. They sit there long enough, they can't help but duplicate those. And on the micro moments, since I'm involved in those on a daily basis, the, the reports come in, you know, during the live seminar. And they're telling me, I just got, you know, 15 cents. I just got two cents, whatever. And just one after another. And we record these things. And they ultimately end up on, on YouTube uh, where people can see them. They really don't do them any good. They're kind of kind of late, you know, but they can see exactly what happens when, when, uh, when uh, you know, you follow the, follow the rules and follow what these guys are doing. And, and, and you've got the exact same equipment they got. There's nothing special about it. Yours as a manual, big, thick manual developed over about 20 years. And uh, because it's different now, it's, it's becoming more, more uh, faster because you're doing sort of micro moment trades in uh, a little slower. And, uh, and that's good. Nothing wrong with that. But you're making huge, like you said, the one day you got out in what, 15, 20 seconds today. Yeah, and there you one, go. One's a couple of days. So it's just great. And we talk about leverage. The critical thing about leverage is that, is that, when you're doing those uh, those leap transactions, instead of buying stock for fifty bucks, you mentioned a while ago, you you're, you're buying that that leap, which is just a long out option, long expiration option. You get it for a few bucks versus maybe fifty dollars or hundred dollars for the stock, and so you've got incredible leverage. You're up in the ninety percent leverage range without the use of margin. Margin's only fifty percent. That's when you borrow the money from the broker. So you've got all this leverage, and and it's just and then now you've got the new technique about people. That have dividend stocks and they don't want to they don't want to trade stocks they just want to live off those dividends and now you've got the technique where that's fine you just sell one out of the money which means if it gets called out it's profitable call a week or every few weeks since they have weekly options now ex expirations used to just be the third friday and uh you can substantially increase your your dividend yields because they're only usually you know two three four percent max and so now you're increasing on a monthly basis using that just better than better than a uh, dividend. And you can never lose your stock under any circumstances. And uh, so that's a really, really good technique. You teach. I've been doing it for a long time. You know, look, yeah. you, you, you got a great beard. I mean, you've been at this for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have this when I started teaching back in 2009. That's but, right. Yeah. Um, I, I just want to emphasize uh, one of the things that you, you said, Joe, is these are not speculation. They're rule-based. As Joe said, we teach a whole set of rules. It's a whole process. If, if it does this, you do that. If it does this, you do that. And it's it's following rules. And it's not just um, hoping that something is going to happen. These are all constructed based off of a whole set of rules and following uh, the charts, whether it's the proprietary uh, micro-moment trading charts or the advanced charting charts. Or, or just a simple line chart. It's following charts, doing specific constructions of a rule-based technique. So that's the thing that makes it really, really important. We're just not guessing. We're not hoping. We're not. We're not just jumping into something because we like it. It's it's all based off of the rules. And you, and, you know, for for the people that like to hold stocks forever, your technique is just incredible. Because the moment, you know, macro moment, they're out within seconds. But yours is incredible. Because no matter which way a stock goes, particularly in these crazy markets, no matter which way, they're gonna they're gonna make their return every month. They're gonna make money on that stock. They're not gonna run out there and sell it for a loss, you know. And uh, they're gonna continue to make. If they went into it with a five percent gain, they can continue to make that or more. It doesn't make any difference if it goes up or down. And uh, it's just fantastic service. 
over on Micah's side of the fence, uh, they're in and out, uh, mainly QQQ, uh, Microsoft, uh, Spy, pretty much you know, a big company like Microsoft, otherwise they're indexes. And they're in and out of those, you know, in, in not minutes, minutes a long time. When, when I'm on that thing, I'm monitoring it. If they hit a minute, I start warning them, you better get the hell out of that thing. Because what they've learned, what's, what they're really good at is getting out of something that turns red. Instantly, they know how to get out of it. And that's the whole technique of that, of that service. Get out of it as quick as possible. You may be in it two minutes later again. But you get out of it when it turns red. And, and they end up with maybe, maybe, you know, a penny loss, two cents loss, something like that. And that's fine. That's nothing. You just go right back into it. I mean, you know, they're up uh, 50, what, 50 something points this week already or th for, uh, yeah, through Thursday. They made Thursday to that. So uh, it works. It works good. And uh, we have some people making comments over there. Over Peggy Peggy uh, says uh, she loves the micro moments. And, and uh, Micah, she's watching it for the first time. And this is the first time on Facebook. She says she really likes that. It's working good. Awesome. Oh, you know, but Peggy's been around a long time. She was even on our, our cruise, the last cruise. Uh, she's, she's been doing the, 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 the trading and learning the different techniques for quite a while. So it, it's great to see her that she's finally come around to See the Facebook. Absolutely. Yep. And this is Mike. Mike, what on Facebook last weekend or last Thursday? I think it was for the first time last Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mark has got it all figured out for us. So Facebook, yeah. it's it's pretty cool. Well, the problem I think the main problem it avoids is you can't comment on YouTube unless you have an account. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which a lot of people just don't think to make. I don't have a YouTube account. You know, I don't think about that. Um, and you can't comment or ask questions unless you have one. So. Um, everybody has a Facebook, so it's it's a little yeah. bit accessible for people to really engage with us as well. I I don't have a Facebook account. My wife Facebook? does. My, you my, you my wife account? does because she likes to see the pictures of the grandkids and everything. But okay. I I've, I've, I've no no Facebook. Yeah, I had I didn't have one forever until about six months ago. My wife finally shamed me into it, but I never I never look at. It. Nobody ever sends me any messages anyhow, and so I, I never look at it. Uh, we're getting some more response here. Got uh, got to go up here to the top here. Joseph. Joseph was the very first one to get a message in. He says, hello. Hello, Joseph. Joseph's been with us for a long time. And Deshaun, oh, speak, you know, Deshaun's trying to learn uh, Spanish. And look at that, hola. Hola. You know, I think that's the only word I ever heard him say. Hola. You know, and there's Peggy. Learns, loves the uh, Facebook. Uh, Maggie saying, hey, Deshaun. Deshaun saying, whoa, Maggie. How are you? They're supposed to be listening to the seminar, not talking on the side, right? Okay. And uh, Roberto says hello all. And Norman, micro moment trading is the best. These guys really know what they're doing. Uh, I've been with them for years. Great technique, and they have great coaching. There you go. Talking about uh, all these guys. Uh, yeah, Maggie again, healthy. Yeah, Maggie, uh, healthy and blessed. So that was a comment. Do you mention that she was on that last cruise? I think she's been on more than one. Uh, a friend says, "What trading platform do you use for the micro moment, Micah?" Uh, we use them all. Uh, we have clients on E-Trade. I'm on TradeStation. Tim's on Thinkorswim. We have a bunch of clients on Thinkorswim. Um, we have an inter interactive broker uh, lady. Um, so it's just it's just whatever you either already have an account with, whatever you're comfortable with, um, whatever you get the best commissions on. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can trade it anyway, though. Frank uh, says hi, Deshaun. Dude, Deshaun's awful popular here. Now Deshaun says hello. He didn't use hello this time. I guess he knows Frank doesn't speak Spanish. Um, this <laughs> is a friend, a friend, a friend again. What's the least amount? that you can start with to trade the micro moment. Let me give a good example. 2,000 bucks, 2,000 bucks in your account. You're never going to put another dollar in and you start following these guys and they do, you know, like today on 15, 16, 17% in uh, a day. And they're averaging over the last 59 weeks has been something like a 97% a week, something like that. If you open an account and subscribe to their service and follow them, all you have to make is six percent per week, six percent per week, and you'll turn that two thousand. And this is based on the number of trading days, two hundred twenty-one trading days in a year, six percent a week, and in the course of twenty-four months, two years, 
you'll have over eight hundred thousand dollars in that account. You're never putting in a penny in. Now, if they're doing a ninety-seven percent, you know, uh, it's going to be easy for you to eck out six percent a week. And that's exactly I wouldn't. And you, and you can start with nothing. You can open an account, put a few bucks in there. You don't have to use it. And you then that way they let you use their virtual trading account. And the virtual trading account is almost exactly like the same. Yeah, you know, it's not quite little timing differences, but it's good. And that way you can become very proficient with never really risking one penny of your real money. And then when you're you're being profitable and you've got it down, then just you know use the uh, use your regular account. So uh, uh, so a friend, that's that's my answer. I'm sticking with it, Norma. Uh, that comment from Norm is actually from me, Kathy. Okay, sorry about that. Shouldn't have said that. Got y'all mixed up. Uh, and Kathy, Kathy's been around for a long time too. She was also on the cruise. Yep. 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 Oh, Kathy. She had a killer day yesterday, Randy. She made ninety-two cents. Whoa. Whoa. Trading Whoa. Micro it was either That's yesterday you. or day before. Yeah. And then, well, that that was when we logged on to the the second session. She had made ninety two cents. I think she did another trade or two. So, and Brian broke a buck thirty five. Yeah, yeah. Those are the, those are near one hundred percent return for the yeah. Get out of here. And, and for the people that don't really spend what we're talking about. You know, if somebody says, "Oh, I made fifty cents," you say, "Oh my God, that wasn't very good." No, that's a huge because you know you just have to get in and find out how the stuff works. But that's a huge, huge, huge return. So, congratulations. That's Joe. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie says she's going to send me a message on my Facebook. How about that? At least somebody will. So, and our our a friend person says thank you. So, uh, going good. Good questions. But uh, yeah, it's, it's you know you have to think about things a little different. Uh, you know, some guy you know let's say you know end of the day, you go over to play golf somewhere. A guy comes in, buy a beer at lunch. He says, "Man, yeah, you know, I killed it in the market this morning." I made 50 cents and you're going to look at him, an uninitiated person going to look at him and think, my God, you think that's great. You made 50 cents today. What kind of deal is that? So it's kind of, you can't have to explain yourself all the time on this stuff, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause when we talk about that, we're talking about per share. And so when you're trading yeah. uh, an option, each contract's worth a hundred shares. So if you made 50 cents, that means you actually made $50 for each contract. Yeah. If you're only investing a dollar or a dollar twenty, that's a pretty good return. It's a huge return. Huge return. That's why you, you know, a lot of people end up doing like 150 contracts, something like that, which is, is you know great money, but not I mean just huge, huge amount of monthly coming in. And remember, you're only into those things, and, and now a lot of yours, Randy, you're only into those things for a few minutes. Two minutes is a long time, and you're out. You never do anything over the weekend or anything like that. But uh we have uh, we'll be we'll be scheduling hopefully scheduling another cruise sometime. Uh, oh, Randy, this I thought you'd appreciate this. I told the people on Micro Moment, uh, so I get this uh, I get this announcement, and this the, where we live is called Sanger Lofts, and this deals with Sanger Lofts residents meeting and cocktail hour. Now. Now, this is going to happen tonight at 6 o'clock, so I'm anxious to see how it goes. Uh, between 4.30 and 5.30, they're going to deliver cocktails to our front doors individually. We don't have to go somewhere to get them. That's real. And then at 6, we're going to have a Zoom call where everybody's going to be on the Zoom thing. So I guess we're sitting there drinking the cocktails, you know, 4.30 and 5.30, and then 6 o'clock, the Zoom meeting. Now, is that not, not a cool way of handling that? I'm not sure how that would work anywhere else, but, uh, you know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. Yeah, I've heard of a lot of people doing that through quarantine. They'll do uh, like Zoom dinners and stuff with their families, and everybody gets a spot at the table. But you're like a computer or an iPad, and you just sit there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Okay, so you've got any other comments here? Uh, Evans. Ninety-two cents, dollar thirty-five. Wonder what that means. See that at the bottom? That's Marion. Oh, that's Marion. Okay, why would I know that? The user hey, last Marian. name. Everybody knows, knows her first name and her last name. That's right. Uh, she's always trying to trick. She got all those little smiley faces and eyeballs and hearts. She's, and 
She's like one of those famous people that just you just have to have one name and, and you know who that is. You know, like like Usher and yeah, um, and those. And so it's it's Marion. Everybody knows. Yeah, yeah. Marion's Mary been with us a long, long time. And when we used to have those live seminars over in Dallas, she was almost ever, ever, ever month for you know something. Norma says, "This is Kathy. I made a total of one dollar and twenty two cents that day. Best day in a long time." That is a huge day, huge. But that morning, I made two dollars and sixty cents in two momentum trade. Now she's talking about Randy stuff. Oh, yeah. uh, that filled that morning. I have quadrupled my, my IRA in six months. Quadrupled her IRA in six months. That's cr incredibly good. Uh, I had tripled it in three months. Tripled it in three months. The crazy virus market happened in between those three and six months. There you go. There you go. Fantastic. Norma, who's really Kathy. Uh-huh. So everybody's doing great. She's she, she's uh, commenting incognito, I guess. She, she doesn't want oh, yeah. to. Uh, she must be in the witness protection program, too. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you, you're like you're like you. Yeah. You see that everybody has those little pictures right next to uh, their names. And, and those hers is just an X. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. Let's see if there's any other new ones here. You know, even though we keep kidding about how long uh, Randy's been with us, was it 15, 16, 17 years, something like that, Randy? Uh, thir 13. 13. Two 2006. Yeah. So, uh, 14. And Micah, he's been with us six years, I guess. Now he started off when he was about 16, 20, 22, or 21, 22 now. 22. 22. Yeah. yeah. He showed up on a cruise, a Caribbean cruise, and yeah. uh, kind of been with us ever since. So, uh, Sort of just leave him, leave him down there in the Caribbean somewhere, but he kept getting back on the boat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> trying to see if there's any new ones over here. Yeah. I don't want to ask any questions you have, Chris, about any of the techniques. Yeah. Somebody some, shoot up some questions. I don't know what, what the difference when they ask a question and it comes up on the screen here and shows the, their picture when it ends up over here. Here's a question for Randy. From Joseph, Randy, can you share briefly about your moment? Excuse me, things about your momentum trading. Is it similar to micro moment trading and trade placement, but using longer thing keeps moving number longer time frame charts? Sure. Yes. Um, the momentum trade is uh, quite similar to micro moment. In mm -hmm. fact, micro moments kind of a a fast offshoot of momentum trading. We started momentum trading first and then uh, developed the intraday streaming charts to allow micro moment trading to kind of take place. But uh, momentum trading is we're looking at the advanced chart that's a proprietary charting system uh, from, from micro moment trading. Uh, Joe developed it uh, many years ago and it kind of combines 21 technical indicators all into one, one package. And we teach you how to read it. Very, very simple really to learn how to read it. And we're looking for the, the start of uh, new rising cycles. And so as we uh, look at the beginning of the momentum of uh, equity, then we just simply buy a call and let it go up and, and sell it. And so typically those uh, fill in one or two days and then we're out of it back in back into cash. And, and as Joe said, we're rarely are we in any positions o over the weekend that you're just back to cash and, and you wait for the next one. And uh, so it's a slower pace than micro moment trading. Micro moment trading is four, five, six seconds. You're in and out. Uh, the, the momentum trading is, uh, again, it's usually a day or two. Uh, sometimes, like the last one we did on Southern Company, it was actually a 5% return in, in about five hours. Enter it right during the uh, coaching webinar. We found the position. The chart was great. I uh, got into it and five hours later it closed out for 5% return. So um, it's, it, it's a good, it's a good way to kind of learn the process of micro moment trading at a real slow pace. And then when you want to get it on steroids, then you join Micah and you take off and, and you're in and out of positions uh, so quickly. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Roberto says, hello, Marion. Long time. 
Hope you're doing well. Seriously, Mary has been to so many seminars all over, all over, out California, up in Boston, everywhere. Uh, Frank says, Micah, how did you first find out about CSE? Uh, my brother was actually a student of Cezanne and Joni's uh, yep. way back in the day. And um, I started learning with him and just sitting in on it. Um, I would go before uh, school, actually because of the time zone I was in. So I'd go, uh, yeah. go there for, for an hour and then and then go off to school, um, high school. And yeah, I just kept kept learning, kept watching the charts and, and just listening. But yeah, yeah. my brother just, I, I forget how my brother heard of it. I think, funny story, I think he actually heard of it. Yeah, he did at a Robert Kiyosaki seminar. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did. We, yeah, we did. Uh, from one uh, of the clients, not from not from Robert, but another one of the clients that was at yeah. the it was a real estate seminar, I think. Yeah, yeah, we did a lot of uh, seminars with him. Uh, we in LA and in Dallas, and uh, you know, in person, it'd be he, he'd be up there, we'd be up there, and a couple other people would be up there, and uh, there'd be like two day seminars. And uh, yeah, and he 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 was the uh, you know he he uh, did the forward to the book, covered cause and leaps wealth option. And the reason he did that, Kiyosaki's not really a stock guy; he's a real estate guy. And he was so impressed with the book because we treat stock. Randy treats stock like real estate. He buys it and he rents it. And who's going to buy real estate and not rent it if it's rentable property? S certainly you're going to do that. And so that's that's why Randy's is considered such a conservative. It covers cost the most conservative things on the face of the earth. Um, that's how Warren Buffett got started. First things he did was cover calls. So, and then he went wrong and, you know, lost his mind many years ago and messed up and made money. Anyhow, uh, uh, let's see. Frank, Mike, okay, answer that. Norma, I'm pretending to be my husband. I don't have a Facebook account, but my husband does. So if I do something disagreeable over here, I'll get the blame. Ha <laughs> ha. That's from Kathy. Yeah. Al, Al, how about a short, quick comment on how Tony's doing on his call up? I, I I think Mike uh, may have talked to him. I, is he still caught up? He was back. He had the quarantine to get back, and uh -huh. then got called out again. Uh -huh. Not quite in the same way. There's not there's not much. Um, you know, there's certain things we're not allowed to know. Mm -hmm. uh, so he was back for sure. He went again. I don't think he went to the same place, but he's he's uh, he had another two weeks of things to get done. So he's he's. I mean. He was not expecting the the world to worldwide pandemic to break out when when he was going to military training. He, uh, he probably he probably got deployed to Dallas. You know, it's dangerous over there. There, yeah, yeah. yeah. right. So I don't know. Yeah. I mean, they're not militarized yet. <laughs> on the radar, I have no idea. Um, but he's he's doing well. He yeah. didn't never got sick or anything. Uh, his family's doing well. Good. So, okay, um, Todd. Todd says I missed the first part of the seminar. What value is the macro moment trading up to at the point? I know you started off at, at off around 15. Uh, I, I don't have your phone number to what we get a final from the broker over the weekend and I publish it on Monday. So if you look in the uh, micro moment uh, news I put out every day, that figure is actually an actual picture of uh, the value on the statement. So you'll you'll see that. Because we've got, we got several of those funds I don't keep up with all of them. Micah does one, and and uh, uh, him does one, and and we do one, and it's, you know, so, so I don't know. Anyhow, uh, Marie, uh, Marion, hey, Roberto, doing well. Thank you. Well wishes to you and your family as well. Here's a friend again. Hello, Micah. Micah, you, you, your, your people always disguise their names. They never, you got a picture with an X on it again. Hello, Micah. How long? How long did it take you to get proficient in micro trading? In a micro trade, it was a lot different at the time. Um, so uh, I don't know. Um, I feel like I picked it up pretty quickly. I feel like I did what what everyone does. We we pick it up very quickly, and then you get a little bit like once you start to get good at it, you start to think you like understand it too much more than you do. And you start to take a little bit of creative liberty, and then you usually do bad for a while, uh, and then you come back around and do okay again. So I, I don't know what my timeline was. It was too long ago. Um, I'm glad I had a, a seminar at the beginning. That was my that was my 
it wasn't my first exposure. I had seen, you know, a few webinars before, but my first like really getting into it was, was on the boat. And, you know, we just had a few days of just straight on learning. Uh, that was really cool. Um, so probably a little bit faster because I started off with the seminar, but I don't remember. Yeah. We have those cruises. Uh, we typically allocate, you know, maybe a couple hours a day when the boat is not in, in, in you know, in, in, in some, you know, island or something where everybody wants to get off. It's when they go in between the islands and it lasts a couple of hours and, and everybody really gets to know everybody and everybody really gets yeah. valuable information. And it's a fantastic cruise also. And we've had those in Hawaii, seven day cruise in Hawaii. We had it in the uh, Mediterranean. Well, the hundreds of us flew over to Spain, uh, Barcelona and the ship left from there. And, uh, we have them down more, more commonly in the Caribbean. Uh, the, they go from the start of Puerto Rico all the way to the very out islands, and that's usually a couple day cruise, you know, nonstop. And they start coming back in island hop, coming back. And it's good, uh, good um, uh, trading uh, on those cruises because Wi-Fi and you're close to those islands. The one in in uh, in uh, Hawaii had good Wi-Fi. But the problem is the market doesn't open till three o'clock in the morning Hawaii time. And, and we had a dedicated area, and that place was full. Those people on that cruise came down there and did those, you know, for an hour or two, did trades off that ship in Hawaii at 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, well, every, everyone else on the boat was sleeping, and we were making all kinds of money. There you go, yeah. And Marion says, wow, please send Tony our love with a little heart signal there and let him know he's missed with uh, another little face of some kind. Peter, Randy. You always say, let the charts be your guide. Same rules apply for dogs of the Dow for covered calls. Do the same rules apply for dogs of the Dow's of the Dow with the covered calls. Yep. The, the, um, the dogs of the Dow is a special cover call technique that Joe developed many years yep. ago. Uh, so long ago that he doesn't even remember. But he exactly. did. And it actually uh, leverages the Dow Jones theory. So it's a, it's a whole different uh, selection process. It's still a covered call. And it still follows a set of rules, but it, it doesn't use a chart. It, it uses the fact that millions of people are going to buy that stock. And it's over the years, it's been kind of proven that the, the Dow Jones theory kind of works and, and it goes up. So it's a different set of rules. We only teach that technique on the Thursday night cover call coaching session. It's not taught on that two day seminar because it's a, a extra special one that Joe developed. Okay, Peter, again, this is for Micah. Micah, this AM, Tim, was able to get into a quick drop on QQQ near the end of this AM when it drop, drops quickly. Do you need hotkeys to get in? Seems like we couldn't chase the tick fast enough. Um, you need a, a hotkey in, in the form of a one-click order. If you're clicking more than once to enter, you're going to miss it. If you have any confirmations, any confirm, you know, is this how much you want in the trade, uh, you're going to miss it. So I believe he does a shift click. So it's a it's he holds one, uh, one button on his keyboard and then clicks once with the mouse to get in. Um, so that's very quick. Uh, I do um, a one-click with my mouse as well. And, um, but you can do a hockey, you can autofill, you know, you can fill in whatever you want, but yeah, you need to, you need to have that order go right when you want it to, for sure. Okay. Mary again says Micah is being modest. He probably picked up, it uh, picked it up proficiently in a couple of weeks. There you go, Micah. <laughs> I honestly don't remember. It's not modesty. I just don't know. <laughs> Uh, and is this M E R I? How do you pronounce it? Mary, 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 Mary. It's not Mary. Uh, M -E -M -E -R -L -A? Yeah, Mar yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just signed up for the uh, toolbox again. Good, glad to have you back. Roger, when will the next Trade the Bowman seminar be held? Well, you know, we did, we've only done one because, uh, and we had about 25 people there. We wanted about 25 people because we'd never done one before. It was at a hotel here in uh, uh, Fort Worth, and the next will be at a hotel in Fort Worth. We had planned on one in March, and then this fire thing hit. And we had to cancel those plans. So whenever we have the ability to do it, it, it and this time it'll be obviously more people. Uh, it'll also be on, online simultaneous. So you don't have to come to Fort Worth. You can do it online. Um, but again, we don't have any plans now because we don't know, you know, how, how to pull that off yet. Or if we could even pull it off yet. So we'll see. We may do it. Uh, 
we may do it virtually. You know, we always had those dinners, the cocktail parties and the dinner, the cocktail party on Friday night when everybody got there and then the dinner on Saturday night, which we, you know, took out to the, to the big clubs and had these pay for all that stuff. Now, if we do it virtually, we use Zoom, right? We use Zoom and then everybody go out to dinner by themselves, right? Does it get delivered? Does it get delivered by drone, like the pizza the pizza box shows up that, at the front door that, that, and everybody goes yeah. out and gets it? That's a yeah. good idea too. Yeah, yeah. Or what we oh, what we could do? What we could do? See, now this would work. We would take uh, would do the seminar on on Zoom, right? And then we would have delivered these food delivery services, the food to the people's houses, right? There you go. Now I just figured, such a genius, just figure that out right now. That'd be our first seminar. Mike. Come back. <laughs> yeah, Mike, I was just looking. It, it, they keep seeing me turn my head because I'm looking at the charts. But while we were talking, uh, one of Tim's uh, great chart setups just happened, and that would have been a fantastic uh, put on the micro moment trading. Oh, really? They just dropped like a rock, and yeah. it's still going down. Are you looking at, you Tim, looking at the PX chart or which one? Tim, Tim would have made a, a ton of money on that one. Yeah. yeah he would have made, he would have traded that a couple times for sure. Okay, that's what we're going to do. If this thing didn't clear up, we're going to, we're going to have the seminar. We'll do it on Zoom, and then we'll we'll have food delivered to everybody's house with Grubhub or whoever that is. That's that kind of stuff. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Peter, uh, is the one click with a set ask price, or do we have to modify the price? Yes, uh, it is a shift click. You do have to enable it on Thinkorswim. I don't know where the option is, um, but you, it is something you have to turn on, and then you click directly on the ask. Um, on your option share, I think, or is it? Uh, no, you're. Are you on Thinkorswim, Randy? No, no, I, I, I have E Trade and, and Schwab. I don't have Thinkorswim. Yeah, so he he shift clicks directly on the ask. I'm not sure if it's on a ticket or on the option chain, but he can also shift click on the bid to sell it, um, and it just takes whatever it's at. He doesn't have to actually type in a price, which is the long part. Um, typing in the price and adjusting the price. So if you can find a way. And it's different for every platform. If you can find a way to avoid that step, that's the main time consumer. That and confirmations, of course. So. There you go. And Maggie says, uh, go for it, Joe. We'll wear masks and sit six feet apart. Yeah. Peter, Randy, when you do MMT with SPX, where do you enter given the large spreads? Well, I always uh, go to the midpoint. And uh, like with Micah, their their trades usually their spreads are just a few cents apart. On uh, on SPX, it's usually twenty to thirty cents apart. And I just always shoot for the mid, and that's typically where it's going to fill right there around the mid. Okay, and this is a different Peter, uh, E Trade Pro and Swap. I that's what Peter uses. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, e Pro is the only one that you can't do it with. You can set up speed keys, they're called. Um, so it will autofill the ticket. So if you, I have a, I have mindset, I haven't used E-Trade in a while, but I had mindset to shift B was um, to buy. And it doesn't actually send the order, but it, it fills everything that you need to. So it, it takes your limit type and it puts the, it puts that price one cent above the ask or at the ask. Uh, it still does everything for you. And then you just have to one click to, to finish the trade. So it's still a two click method, but that is the fastest way on E-Trade um, that I know of. Uh, and then Schwab, I don't know. Schwab is thinkorswim, right? We're about out of time here and our, our, our delightful engineer is going to start bugging me here in a minute. Uh, it's for, it's uh, uh, Marcus been with us for, a long time also uh send an email to uh support com and ask for a link to the uh july uh covered call leap seminar uh july 18th and 19th and we'll get that link to you and you can sign up and these guys are going to be on there and tim to tim will be there also and uh so it'll be a lot of fun appreciate everybody uh we had reason we have to go down. So we only have 45 minutes here and we're 44 minutes and 29 seconds. And he'll start screaming at me here in a minute if I don't get off. So thank you guys for being here, Randy, Micah. And thanks for everybody else being here. Great questions, a lot of participation. And we'll see everybody in the morning on Randy's programs or micro moment trading. Thanks. See you guys. Bye bye. Good day. Everybody have a great time. Have a, yeah. have a good weekend. Stay safe.
six feet. Goodbye.